Oh, did I show you guys this? New CPU cooler. This CPU cooler is actually going to be our new project. You guys know how much I love receiving packages. Oh yeah. So we got this in and we got this in. So let's open it, shall we? Open it. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. It has a good weight to it too. Anyway, let's open it. I guess it passed. Nice. Oh, we dropped the, uh, oh nice, it's a Type C charger. Nice. Anyway, this was a, a good light. Comes with a mount and a cold shoe adapter. Um, but the reason why I ordered this one is because you can see here it has cold shoes. That way I can mount another microphone or another light or something to it. Oh wow, look, it's actually on. Here, look what it does. Let's see, let's see if y'all can see it. All right, you see the lights? See how it like? it changes the pattern in it it like fades them out to different leds so that like that's like a more orange and then that's like a more bright and then this is like super bright but i thought that's pretty cool how it you can do that and you can see all the different diodes in it that's cool very cool all right well i'm gonna charge it and attach it to the camera Oh, on a side note, I wanted to show you guys these. Check these out. These are aluminum blocks. All right. This is for an upcoming project that we are going to do here in a few days. Um, we're going to use an electric thermal cooler or a petrite, petrite cooler. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but we're going to get some serious cold temperatures and... We can use these aluminum blocks, hopefully to achieve it. What's up guys? So I was going to film today, but uh, can you hear that? Come on, let's go outside and see what the hell that is. So I've been trying to film. Meanwhile, these guys trimming what my uh, God. so anyway uh, yeah I was trying to do some filming and all this noise kept going on and I was just like what is that sound and that is what that sound is put it to the thermal cooler like that well a little bit straighter but anyway it goes on like that and i'm thinking that this will super cool this and as the water's running in and out it'll super cool the whole thing but i don't think one of them's going to do it i may need a couple of more so i'm going to see if uh, i'm going to reach out to the guy that makes these kits and see if i can't buy maybe two more from him and go from there also something else really exciting just came in the mail La la. See what these are? These are acrylic. These are acrylic sheets that I had cut for a certain reason. And I wonder if I can maybe get it out. So, acrylic. So I had these cut specially, although I kind of wanted them to be higher, like more of a notch, but that's okay. But anyway, the reason why they are in this shape See, there should be a few of them in here yeah like that so anyway 
I want to build a square box out of them. And I'm even looking at getting an acrylic roller. Uh, this machine that you insert, it heats up and allows you to bend the acrylic. Um, but anyway, the reason why it's cut like that is because our CPUs kind of look like that. They have the little notch and then the cut. So hopefully this will cover the CPU or the cooler. I'm sorry, hopefully this will cover the cooler. Anyway, um, I did a whole video of me building this thing, but then the video got corrupted. So anyway, what it is is you have a cold plate on one side, all right, and then Hold on, I can peel it off. The thermal paste isn't very strong on it still. Anyway, I have a fan on top and a heat sink and then you just have a little PCB and it just, it's just simple. And then I attach this, this is cool. I attach the LED light to it so that way I know if the stupid thing is on or not. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> what it does is it gets really, 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 really cold on this side and then it gets really really hot on that side and what i want to do is take those aluminum blocks and get rid of this cold plate which i never should have attached it i knew better i was like well no it, i it enabled for it to work it has to have that cold plate attached to it well i wasn't thinking all the way and i was like oh wait a minute oh shit oh shit see oh, shoot shoot i should say well, anyway there's the electric plate right there, as you guys can see it. Um, I did a pretty good job of putting it together. It comes in like a little kit, so you really don't have to do too much. You just basically follow the instructions. Although I, I think I screwed up in here. I didn't do a, that great of a well job, but whatever. So I'm thinking about buying two of these because it does get cold, but it's not, I don't think it's gonna get, I don't think it's gonna be able to handle it. Okay, so what I've done is I put this plastic tray in there and then I got our wood and our aluminum pumps, our aluminum blocks, and then the superconductor on top. And then this one failed, it burnt out. So I ordered two more of these. So they'll be here Friday, I think. So when that comes, and our new PVC pen bender is coming so we can bend the PVC so we can get working on this part of the loop. But um, let's see here, what we need to do now is I need to kind of water secure the circuit, that little circuit board that's right there, you see it in there? So what I was thinking about doing was um, using hot glue I could just take a whole bunch of hot glue and just kind of dump it on there and it would act it would basically do the same thing as like a, a silicon glue would so that's what we're gonna do put it on there so it will there we go like that sorry if it's a little shaky okay so this will be one part of the project. And then we got some other things that are going to help keep it in the upright, like these cool little mini pallets and stuff. They're kind of cool. But yeah, we are working on a new project. You see, I got the soldering iron broke down. I was just sitting here using it. Um, I just finished like I was saying, I just finished um, soldering that one and then that's when I discovered that, that one was broke. This is gonna be really cool. We're basically going to super cool an air cooler on a motherboard. Also, we got from the dollar store, let's go in here, petroleum jelly. Okay, if you look over here, this is the motherboard that we are going to be using for testing. And one of the things that we're going to have to do is take petroleum jelly and put it all over the motherboard, all over the components to help keep it sealed from the moisture that's going to happen. Because if any moisture drips down on it, it could short it out. And we don't want to exactly kill it. 
that's not exactly good. I think what's in here is an i5-6600K, which is a fair, that, that should be fairly hot of a CPU. The motherboard doesn't need to be too much. We're not pulling the RAM or anything. We're also going to be adding a graphics card to the loop. Since it's already ready to go, and this this gets hot. This is a this is a very hot card. Um, this is my GTX 580 for the win Hydro. Uh, it's a good card. It's a little bit older, um, but it <laughs> it's already has the water block built on it. This was one of my very first um, builds that I did. But we're going to be using this as well. So it's going to have to cool the CPU and a GPU, which is going to be very interesting. Also to bring in the light, I figure I'll show you guys this next. Hang on, take that block off. Um, we're going to be using this pump. And then I have a copper coil outside that we are going to be using as a copper coil. Um, I went ahead and installed I installed RGB in it here. I can I can show you the RGB I just installed. So yeah, see? I added some RGB in there. So that way, once we get it all put together and built, we'll have some bling bling going on with it. Yeah, and I built these little, I built on oh, this stream, I built these little wooden frames um, out of this uh, Jenga kit. It's a Jenga block set. And I was just using some of the wood to build that out of. And then we're going to design, we have this acrylic board outside that's going to hold the motherboard, probably leave it level, maybe at a slight angle, and then we'll hook the pump up. And then the CPU cooler will sit on top with the acrylic cage that's going to be built around it. So we're going to build, like I was saying, an acrylic cage that's going to go all the way around it and it's going to be filled with water and the water will come in one way flow through and then out the other which is how i want it i want the water to flow through in and out the other and that's going to be cool we picked up some sealant so we can seal this because we're going to have to make it watertight of course and uh, that's kind of what we have been working on today yeah all right just wanted to let y'all know what was up. That's what I'm working on right now, a new project. I think it's going to be cool, especially once we're done and I got it all set up. It's going to blow y'all's mind.